however, things change, market changes, and we are constantly looking at the, the best next opportunity. So at this point, we do not have plans to have a PMP430 based or an OFDM based 900 megahertz or 2.4. Um, however, there's a lot of things going on with the, with those products and those bands. We, we understand those bands are extremely important to the North American market, and we're working on uh, improvements in those bands as well. Speaking specifically to the Canadian market, do you anticipate the PMP430 will be available in the 5.4 gigahertz range? Uh, yes. At some point, we are going to release it in both U.S. and Canada. Uh, as of right now, they are somewhat tied together, um, but should the delay for the U.S. market be increased more? I'm not sure exactly how to say that, but we, we do have it ready to go also for the Canadian market. But we will uh, eventually get there. I don't have a date on when. And um, are these radios, both the, the 320 and the 430, are they half duplex or full duplex? Yeah, they're, they're both full duplex. Great. Um, and in the PMP320 system, uh, does the MIMO configuration require any special setup or special antenna? So the, uh, on the setup side, no. It's, uh, you can think of it just as another automatic modulation, if you will. It's not exactly technically accurate, but it will uh, automatically switch from MIMO A to MIMO B um, when the signal levels allow for that. And, and again, if you go to that link budget table on our support webpage, it shows you what uh, signal to noise ratio and what link budget is required to to achieve that. Um, on the antenna side, uh, the integrated antenna on the SM is uh, is a MIMO antenna, and the uh, uh, access point antenna is a MIMO antenna. So it does require what we call a, a dual polarity uh, antenna, which is plus or minus 45 degrees uh, polarization uh, for that for that MIMO functionality. You, you spoke about the benefits of wireless manager. I wonder if you could speak to that as it's, applica as it's applicable to the 320 and 430. Um, sure. So I, so I think there's a, there's a, a number of benefits. Uh, um, I, I kind of touched on one, which is the fact that it, it is a single management system for all of our web products. So if you do have a network that combines 320, 430, 100, um, as well as our point-to-point -point solutions, uh, licensed and unlicensed, as well as our mesh products. You can manage all of those across all of those things. Now, a little bit closer to home on the PMP320, uh, the wireless manager can automate some of the more manual tasks that uh, you have to do on the access point. And if you want to do those, so as an example, when you set up your service flows and QoS profiles on an access point, you can certainly do that through the web interface. But with Wireless Manager, you can create what's called a configuration template and then automatically push that out to all of the access points. So you don't actually have to go through and, 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 and use the web interface on every single access point. So that not only uh, automates it, but it also reduces the opportunity for error as you try to do a consistent deployment. So uh, Wireless Manager has been fully uh, integrated and tested with these radios so that uh, if you were to go look at a some other element management system or a sort of a plain vanilla one, um, you would have, it would be sort of uh, your responsibility to uh, do that integration and testing and everything else, whereas if you buy it from Motorola, you can think of it as an extension of the overall solution. We have a couple more questions in just a few more minutes, uh, so let me just address those and then we'll close out. If your question hasn't been answered, we'll try and get back with you and, and uh, get you offline. Um, can you talk a little bit about the uh, competitive field without mentioning specific competition? Can you talk about how these two products compete in the against the other products that may be out there? I think we covered uh, that fairly well in the with the slide. But just to recap on some of that, um, the GPS synchronization gives us a distinct advantage in the mitigation of self-interference. Uh, that's, that's a big problem when you look at uh, those folks using 802.11n or any contention-based uh, type of thing. Collisions happen, uh, throughput declines, and you're never sure why. Uh, latency increases. So, so the GPS synchronization really gives us that advantage of, of self-interference mitigation. That's one big one. Um, yeah, yeah, I think the, the other one, uh, so 
you kind of look at the categories of uh, competition as 8.0 to 11 products, which have the contention-based issues not being synchronized uh, and not, you know, sort of not, not being built for, a, for fixed outdoor environments, sort of being built for indoor and taken to the outdoor. Uh, in, in addition, there's another category of competitors that use 802.16d. So I kind of summarized the, the technical and business advantages of, of D versus E, but keep in mind that the, the E solution will have uh, better uh, coverage and throughput at a lower cost, both deployment and initially, than a, than a 16D solution. So overall, this is providing a, a lower latency, lower interference, ease of use, and uh, affordable solution, and uh, specifically in the 802.11.16e platform. Is that how I understand it? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's right. The, um, in, in, in the yeah, 16E versus 16D, yeah, 16E is, is better coverage and throughput. Uh, at, at a lower cost. That, that's the PMP 320. And then and the 430 side, our main competitors are either proprietary themselves or using typically using the 802.11 N protocol, um, which has those contention-based issues. Uh, those that use the their own proprietary thing, we feel we have a, a much better proprietary solution. For the well, reason. great, guys. I, I really appreciate your very informative talk today. It's amazing how many questions we're getting, which means that there's a lot of interest. Uh, Streakwave will be happy to answer further questions or do any uh, product background for you that you may need. You can come to streakwave.com if you have questions about that, and we can get some information as well from Matt and Bruce uh, offline. Again, I'd like to, to thank Bruce Collins and Matt Mangriotis from Motorola, the product managers for the PMP320 and the PMP430. These products are available through Motorola now and provide you with some great link solutions. Thank you so much for attending this webinar and watch for other webinars from Streakwave webinars as they do come out from time to time. Again, this is Richard Bernhardt from Streakwave thanking Matt Mangriotis, Bruce Collins, and Motorola. Have a good day.